Hi Effective guys, I've been asked to analyse Nick's performance from his recent trial here in the UK. So without further ado, let's take a look at how he did. So here's Nick, number 81, playing on the right wing in a 4-4-2. Let's get started. Straight away from the off, a good positive running behind from kickoff. You see by making this run early, it's created the space for him to now receive the ball from a teammate. Great start Nick. If you scan before you receive this pass, you'll probably notice that you could turn here with the defender far away from you. But as it goes, it's early in your game and you do the right thing and keep in possession for your team. Well done. Here you come short to get on the ball and show good pace in behind the fullback to run onto the through ball. You're now in a dangerous area and force a corner for your team. Positive play again, stopped by a good recovery from the fullback. OK, an outswinging corner. I've highlighted the desired area for an outswinger to avoid an easy catch for the keeper to claim. The fullback and centre back are both occupied by attacking players, so you've shown a real good attitude in tracking back to help out. Something that can lack in the Premier League, wide players with that desire to get back and help out defensively. One point I will make to maybe work on for next time is can you get back in your position much earlier to turn and face the opposition goal and your opponent? Having the ball and the opponent in front of you will allow you to generate a much greater distance when you go to attack the ball. As you can see from this clip, you're back pedalling and are able to generate the power to clear your lines. Good pressure on the ball, forcing the opposition keeper to kick long. Good work rate. Something that's required to be an elite level footballer, particularly in the Premier League, where the intensity is really high. You show excellent vision here. The ball ricochets out to you and the first time switch of play to the opposite side where the space is and a great driven pass as well, excellent. A real good technique required to play that kind of pass and you've mastered it. Again you show excellent work rate and trying to win the ball back for your team, excellent. Even if it does mean injuring your opponent in the process. You show a good starting position, high and wide, good pace to get behind and what I really like here is you identify there's nobody in the box and there's no target for you to aim for so you cleverly hold up the play and cut the ball back to a teammate allowing time for a teammate to get into the box to challenge for a cross. Real good awareness you've shown here Nick, well done. Similar to the clip earlier on, you receive the ball in space with time to turn. You scan the area but don't quite realise how much space you have to turn into and end up going back to where the ball came from. If you'd have opened up your body more before the ball arrived, you may have been able to receive on the back foot and turn rather than going backwards. Remember to be positive, but you've done great to get yourself in that kind of space. Well done. As the ball is played forward, I'd like to see you make a forward movement in support much, much quicker. By doing this, you may force your teammate to pass you much earlier than he did, giving you a clear shooting opportunity, although he seemed keen to do it all by himself. In fairness, in this clip, your run is well timed, but for a poor pass from your teammate who pushes you wide of goal. But as you take your touch, can you get your head up and notice there's two spare bodies at the far post? crying out for a cross. This is what I've been looking forward to do in this situation, but going for goal isn't the worst choice in the world, there's just better options for you to take, but nice try. Again, in that position between lines, can you get on the half turn and drive forward? But watch again as your first touch goes back towards where the ball came from. As it goes, you do produce an outstanding ball from deep for a runner in behind, but for a better touch, it would have been David Beckham-esque. Brilliant.
This is a really good example of a wire player recovery. You try to make a positive move in playing a 1-2 with your teammate that doesn't quite come off. Now as a winger this is where you expected now to get back, the hard yards. But luckily for you, your teammate does this for you, giving you more time to recover. When your team eventually win the ball back, you're still in the high position. Almost cheating, but it works. This type of game as a winger is very risk and reward. If it is to work, you find yourself in lots of space. If not, you can find yourself way out of position defensively. But you were in a corner, so risky, but rewarding. Well done. Another corner into this area should be a goal. Excellent delivery again, Nick. A good driven cross into the box. Very dangerous to deal with. At the start of this clip, I like your movement into a wide position and adjust your body to allow you to see the ball whilst running forward. This run creates space for you wide to drive into and cross the ball in with power. Cross the keeper, excellent. Overall, a really good first half display, Nick. Well done. Moving swiftly into the second half now. I like how you identify the space in the edge of the box from this one, Nick. Once your teammate is in behind, your change of speed to bust the gut to get on the edge of the box is excellent. If your teammate had got his head up, he would have seen you had a free shot on goal near to the box. And look at this time, it would show real desire and hunger to get back and help out defensively. I like it. You apply pressure to the opponent before tracking the opposite full back. Really good work. A nice bit of control from the keepers thrown to your teammate and good awareness to running behind your marker but lucky not to get the ball back. OK, another set play delivery, this time an in-swinger. The target area highlighted is very similar to an out-swinger, but as with most corners in the Premier League, particularly in-swingers, having that ability to miss out the first man with a whip delivery rather than a driven will enable you to become more of a threat from set play delivery. The front space man is hit so many times in the Premier League, it can be so frustrating to see. A nicely worked corner routine here creates you the space to put a cross into the box. It's a great ball into the box for someone to attack but nobody obliges. In this clip I think you could be a bit more positive with your forward passing. As you come inside you see the runs forward from your teammates. Player passing behind them to chase is effectively 5v3 in that situation. Although maybe hesitant to use your left foot stops you from playing this pass but be confident in your ability. However, you play sideways and carry on with your run. I like the scan as you travel towards the central area of the pitch before receiving. Now, once you have the ball, it's all about making the correct decision and assessing your options. I think as you move forward, shooting from distance isn't a bad idea and your options off the ball are very limited, so a shot is well justified. Good effort. In this clip, I'm going to highlight to you the importance of looking to move away from overloaded areas from the opposition. You see here, it's a 2v4 in the opposition's favour. As a pair, you're able to move the ball out of that area well. Now with four of their players on one side of the pitch, where's the space? Of course, it's on the other side. But as you receive the ball, you turn away and pass back into the same area you came from, where all the bodies were. But this time, it's 4v3, so you're still outnumbered, and the opposition win the ball back. I've highlighted here if you're able to recognise when your teammate may need help. Could you here help apply pressure to the opposition to stop the attacker from getting away with the ball? As it goes, you do eventually react and do well to force the attacker to turn back to his own goal. This allows time for your team to recover back into their shape defensively. A vital job for the team you've done there, Nick. Good job. OK, last couple of clips. This time a great effort to make a running behind for your teammate. But here, could you pull away from your teammate who has the ball to avoid condensing the space in which he's running to? You effectively have to defend a 1v1. So by you moving away, it creates a bigger gap for him to take the defender on. But as you see, you move towards your teammate 
and the ball and the space in which he has to operate shrinks. It forces him to have to come inside and the attack breaks down. It's important to understand your spatial awareness for you and your teammates. Trust your teammates with their individual qualities, particularly in 1v1s. Ok, final clip. 1v1 defending, a game brain video. Did you do your homework? Let's see. You do really well here to get yourself in a really good position, side on to the attacker, showing in one way. Really good work. Just remember to keep your eyes on the ball. The attacker throws in a couple of feints to throw you off balance and manages to get a shot at goal. Really good initial setup for this for 1v1 defending. Just need to work on maybe stopping that end product, whether it's a shot or a cross into the box. I hope you found this useful guys. A lot of the skills and techniques I've spoken about in this video are available in the game brain on a train effective website. Use Nick as an example as to how watching these videos can make you improve your game tenfold. Keep training hard and always look to improve what you do and how you do it. And maybe one day you could be in a position similar to Nick and be scouted by clubs in the UK. Thanks for watching.